Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Knowledge Universe. In this new uh, series of videos related to patent for data science, which I try to teach you data type and data structures. In this first part, we try to understand no primitive data structures, especially patient array. Welcome to my channel and we start now our tutorial. Generally, data structures can be divided into two categories in computer science, primitive and no primitive data structures. The former are the simplest forms of representing data, whereas the latter are more the advanced they contain uh, the primitive data structures within more complex data structures for special purpose. Uh, for example, uh, primitive uh, data, uh, data is, uh, are integer, uh, float, string, uh, boolean. And the example of now primitive uh, data structures, uh, array, uh, this is uh, our first uh, uh, case we study today this uh, this first structure uh, list uh, table dictionary seat file and uh, we can uh, also divide the, the list on two chip or two classes uh, linear and non-linear today uh, in this uh, first part we are going to break down the basics of arise in Python and how they work. We also cover a few both in Python functions that you can run on your list to add and remove data. Arrays are useful if you want to work with many values of the same Python data type. For example, here I uh, create uh, my uh, example of an uh, array. Uh, for example, here the name of my array is students, and here uh, there are uh, some uh, names. Here, for example, Alex, Bill, Catherine, Andy, Molly, Rose. So here, this is uh, my array, and here, this is uh, there are uh, some example of uh, values. Now, if I want um, to print uh, this list. I use the function print. So here the name of my array and here the function print to print my array. <coughs> now each value in an array has an index number which tells us uh, where the item is within an array. For example here the index number of Alex is zero the index number of Bill is 1, the index number of Catherine is 2, the index number of Andy is 3, the index number of Molly is 4, and the index number of Rose is 5. For example, if I want to print the second uh, item, so I use here just the index of this value so the second is bill don't here his index is one so i tap here one and when i uh, click here so the result is bill the index of bill is one uh, another example if i want to print uh, for example andy the andy his index is three so here i change one by three so when I print uh, students uh, tree is end. <coughs> With uh, Python, we can also use negative index numbers uh, to access the items uh, in our list, which allows us to count backward, backward. For example, when I print students minus one is rows. We, I try to test that. So here is students minus one is rows. For example, so here is minus one, 
here minus 2, here minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and minus 6. For example, if I uh, want to print uh, Catherine, I just uh, change minus 1 by minus 4. And when I print, here is the result is Catherine. With the Python, uh, we can also slice in items in array. We can slice our Python lists to get multiple values. These values will be retrieved with, by creating a range of index numbers, separating them using a column. For example, here I want to just print Bill, uh, Catherine, uh, Andy, and uh, Maury. So I print students from 1 to 5. The index of Bill is 1. And the index of Mori is 4, but I use here 5. So Python uh, prints just 1, 2, 4 values. So I test this uh, case. Here, so uh, Bill, Catherine, Andy, and Mori. The 4 values. The Python uh, we can also use indexing to change the values within our list. We shave this by referencing uh, each item by its index value and assessing it's a new value. So, for example, here I can change the name Rose by Amy. So I uh, put here students 5 because the index of Amy is 5. Uh, so here the index of uh, uh, Rose is 5. I want to change or replace uh, um, Rose by Amy. So I use uh, students 5 uh, equal to Amy. So now when I print my new list, I can uh, see the change here. So here, this is my first list. After changing uh, rows by uh, uh, Amy, this is my new list. With uh, Python, uh, there are many array methods. You can uh, use uh, uh, many main array methods that you may want to investigate. For example, if I want to add a new name in my uh, array, I use the function append. For example, here I use students uh, dot append John to add the name John in our array. So when I print my new my new array, so here I have a new name here, John. John is my new name in my array. So here, this is my new array. For example, if I want to remove uh, some uh, values, I use the function pop. So, uh, for example, I tap here uh, students. For example, I want to remove, uh, to remove, uh, for example, uh, the second name, I put here students uh, pop1. So here, for example, I want to delete or to remove Bill. So I uh, print now my uh, new array, uh, print uh, uh, students here. So with the function pop1, uh, with one is the index of the second value. So uh, I uh, test this uh, case. So here, I delete my uh, my second. Uh, the second is uh, uh, the second is bill. So here there is no uh, bill because I delete it by using uh, pop one. For example, if I want uh, to delete, for example, uh, Alex, so I use here students uh, pop zero. So because uh, 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 the index of Alex is zero, so I try to test that. So here, there is no uh, Alex because I 
removed by used by using pop zero. Thank you for watching this uh, first video in this new uh, series of uh, Python for data science. In the next part, uh, part two, I try to teach you another known primitive data structures, especially Python list. Goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe, to share, and to comment.